Reach out for help, an advocate warns after 17 corpses are removed from a nursing home, and visits to nursing homes could be barred until the final phase under Trump's reopen plan. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. One provider advocate stressed the importance of nursing homes not being afraid to seek help with COVID-19 after the bodies of more than a dozen residents were discovered at a New Jersey facility over the weekend. Quote, facilities must reach out and ask for help from local emergency management, the state, associations, anyone, when lives or the treatment of those we lost are at stake, John Dolan, president and CEO of the Healthcare Association of New Jersey, said on Thursday. New Jersey authorities removed 17 bodies from a mortuary building outside of the Andover Rehabilitation and Subacute Care 1 and 2 facilities in Andover, New Jersey. Andover 2 is the largest Medicaid facility in the state and has a capacity of more than 500 beds, while Andover 1 has nearly 160 beds. There have been 57 total deaths, 26 coronavirus related, at the facility as of Wednesday, according to data from the Sussex County, New Jersey. Data also shows that about 80 people in the two buildings have tested positive for COVID-19, including more than 40 staff members. The facility suffered 13 deaths overnight between Sunday and Monday, and the bodies were placed in the mortuary building. It holds up to four bodies normally and has a maximum capacity of 12. Funeral operators were also delayed due to the deaths occurring after hours, which led to the crisis. The state found the buildings that had inadequate levels of staffing, and as of Thursday, the buildings were staffed at adequate levels. Dolan said that the proper planning and emergency preparedness will help prevent similar situations in the future, while again stressing to providers to seek help when needed. He also called for authorities to treat long-term care colleagues the same as their, quote, heroic colleagues in hospitals. On Sunday, as part of phase one of the administration's new guidelines for opening up America again, CMS recommended reopening healthcare facilities to provide non-COVID healthcare in areas of the country with low and stable instances of COVID-19. But visits to nursing homes wouldn't be allowed until the final phase of the Trump administration's three-phase plan to reopen America amid the coronavirus pandemic. The administration unveiled the economic relief plan late last week, with President Trump saying a, quote, national shutdown is not a sustainable long-term solution. Under phase one and phase two, the plan recommends that all vulnerable individuals continue to shelter in place. It also prohibits visits to senior living facilities and hospitals. People who interact with nursing home residents must adhere to strict hygiene protocols. Social distancing guidelines would also still be in place. Not until phase three can vulnerable individuals resume public interactions along with visits to nursing homes. Healthcare workers suspected of having coronavirus can also return to the workplace once their symptoms improve and they've tested as COVID-19 negative twice under updated guidance issued by the CDC. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see y'all Wednesday.